Hey guys, um, part of my appearance again. It's late. I just came from cheer practice, so I'm looking kind of gross. But I wanted to get this video in today. I was able to watch all of the women's team finals today, so I wanted to give a little bit of a recap of what happened. Actually, a lot of bit of a recap. I took some notes as I was watching. Um, so if you don't want this to be spoiled, if you DVR'd it and maybe are trying to watch it later, stop this video now and come back after you've watched it. Um, just to hear kind of my thoughts and the a recap of what happened. So. What ended up occurring was the United States ended up winning, the United States women, yay, nobody is surprised about this. Um, it was never really a battle to see who would win, it was more a battle for a second and third. So the rankings ended up being the United States first, Russia in second, China in third, Japan in fourth, GB in fifth, Germany in sixth, the Netherlands in seventh, and Brazil in eighth. So definitely a lot, very mixed up from um, qualifications with the exception of the United States in first place. Um, and that makes a lot of sense because aside from the United States, everybody else was kind of like tightly, tightly, you know, second through eighth. It was, you know, only a couple of points separating um, first through eighth and then 10 points or second through eighth rather. And then 10 points were separating first from second. Um, so just a recap of what happened on, let's see, rotation one, the United States and China were on vault, Russia and GB were on bars, um, Germany and Brazil must have been on beam, and then the Netherlands and Japan were on floor. So the United States was up first on vault, they hit all of their vaults, um, ended up with a 46 over a 46, over 46 points um, for all three of their vaults. Um, Let's see, Allie did about a tenth better than she did in qualifications. Um, Lori was about a tenth lower, and um, Simone was less than a tenth lower on her vault. Russia also hit their bars in that first rotation, um, so they were they hit over a 46 as well during that first rotation, and Aliyah Mustafina actually hit a 15-9, let's see, 15-9-3-3 which obviously is, is a huge score. So that helped them. They started out a lot better um, during team finals than they did in qualification. So I think that was important. Um, so Flavia Sareva hit her beam. Brazil was on beam. So she hit her beam. The crowd went wild. Unfortunately, Jade Barbosa had a fall on beam. So that started out, um, you know, it's a tough way to start for Brazil in your first rotation to have a missed routine. They, um, but... I mean, you know, it was just the beginning. It was one routine. Um, and I think the third, I can't remember who the third person was. That's what I was trying to think of. But I'm pretty sure they hit as well. So it was just one fall. Um, and let's see, Becky Downey hit on bars this time around. During qualification, she had hit her toes on her Pike Tkachev, um release on the bars. So she got a little deduction for that. She didn't hit her toes this time. So she got a 15-4 on beam. On the second half of the rotation, China hit their vaults. They had a couple of steps on their landings, but they hit pretty much 44.332. Closer to 45, the better. Um, ideally, a 45 would be each person hitting like a 15 a 15 um, score. Sorry, I'm watching Michael Phelps at the same time. He just won his race. Um, but anyways, so 44.332 is not bad for China. Um, they're really good. Their the vault is not their best apparatus obviously so they did really well um to hit it over 44 so that was good for them um so yeah those were kind of the big things during rotation one um i just wrote a little note that china's leos were beautiful those were my favorite leos somebody asked me about that in one of my other videos um to do a video about that but um china's leos were definitely my favorite at least during this time um, and I also wrote a little note that everybody just seemed a lot more confident this time around than they were in qualifications and qualifications. People seem nervous, um, with the exception of the United States who seemed prepared and like solid. Um, everybody else seemed a little nervous and a little jittery, but everybody seemed a lot more confident this time around. So in rotation two, um, GB and Russia went on to beam, um, China and the U S went on to bars um, Brazil went on to floor, must be with Germany, and then the Netherlands and Japan went on to, what am I forgetting? Vault, maybe? Um, so unfortunately, Ellie Downey fell on her beam routine, um, 
she you know it, it just wasn't it wasn't great for russia i think they were i mean i'm sorry for gb they were hoping to get onto the podium and they had a good shot to get onto the podium and unfortunately um you know at least started out with the fall on beam so that wasn't great she fell on her standing arabian and ended up with a 13 366 um in the end gb ended up with a 41.966 on beam um like i said the closer to 45 the better so unfortunately the other routines that went up didn't score super high um so yeah they ended up with just under a 42 which you know isn't their best um and for russia on beam so Aliyah mustafina actually hit her beam this time she didn't like balk on her her series so that was good she hit her beam um she ended up with a 14 9 something 14 9 plus um and Seda Tuta also hit, and Angelina kind of missed, but they ended up with a 42.757, so kind of still ahead of um, GB, and they had, you know, that strong bars rotation to start out with, which was good. Um, China and the U.S. were on bars, as I said. China, unfortunately, um, Shang Chung Song fell off of her bars, but because, you know, her start value was so high, she actually still ended up with a 14.3. I'm guessing she repeated the skill that she fell off on. Um, we didn't actually see the routine. They didn't broadcast it, but, um, we know that there was a fall and I know that she came in a little sick. She had some kind of illness coming in, so I don't think she was on her A game. Um, but still China's so strong on bars. They ended up with a 45.007. So, you know, not the, not the worst score that they could have had, but, you know, I think they were looking to do a little bit better. Um, so the United States was also on bars. Simone went up and hit a 14-8. I didn't see her routine. I know she had hit a 15 during qualifications, and that was with some leg separations and whatnot, so I'm guessing um, she had more mistakes or another mistake um, this time around as her score kind of almost equaled what Allie's was in qualification. Allie hit, like, a 14-7-6-6 or something like that. Um, Gabby hit her routine, 15-7-6-6, and Maddie hit her routine of 15-9-3-3, tying, um, Mustafina's score. So the United States ended up, uh, with a 46.499 on their weakest event. It's a pretty high score. Um, on floor, Brazil was on floor. Um, Rebecca Andrade had a little music, um, mishap. I think her music was miscued, so she was on the floor and was posing and then her music started it wasn't cued correctly so she stepped off the floor they stopped the music she stepped back on they started again um she actually did really well adjusting to that until unfortunately her last pass she ended up putting her hands down so brazil had to count a fall on one of their passes ended up with a 41.732 unfortunately that wasn't you know what they were looking to do um, so yeah, after two rotations, United States was in first, uh, China was in second and Russia was in third, excuse me, going into rotation three, whoop, fix this, going into rotation three. Um, so the United States started on balance beam. What I thought was funny was that, or like interesting or something that, um, so Ali started on Ali Raisman st started on beam for the United States, and while Ali was on beam, somebody must have the same floor music that she does because her floor music was playing while she was on beam. So Ali's a rock star because I couldn't imagine maintaining my focus if my floor music was playing while I was on beam. I'd be like, "What the hell? Why is my floor music playing and I'm on beam?" But she just was super, super solid. Um, Lori went up was super solid as well. Um, I kind of watched her in the background while um, one of the Russians was on floor. I could kind of see her, but I didn't see, obviously, the whole routine and didn't see it closely. Um, and then Simone went up. She hit her routine. She had a couple of bobbles and missed some connections. But it was a hit routine with a 15-3. The U.S. came out of that rotation with a 46.833. So, again, you know, above 45, I'm pretty sure they scored above 45 in every single rotation, rotation, which is insane. Um, so, um, Brazil was on vault, I guess. Um, Andrade hit a, she throws an Aminar, she hit her Aminar, she kind of over-rotated it or something, so she stepped out of it, like, turned her, turned her feet, but she stayed on her feet, hit a 14, I'm sorry, a 15-4 for that Aminar. Um, and Brazil ended up with a 44.899, which was pretty good for them. Um, let's see, it looks like Russia hit, for the most part, on floor. They don't have high start values on, on floor, unfortunately. Um, very clean routines, but, 
not super high start values, so I, I'm pretty sure they hit, but um, their overall score for that rotation was just a 42.032. Um, so with Russia's low start values, um, Japan was on bars in that same rotation, and they had a stellar, stellar rotation. They hit their um, routines and maximized their scores on bars and ended up with a 44.466 on bars that rotation. So after that, um, Japan actually slipped into third place, so they were in, in medal contention, which was great. Um, China was on beam after the United States. For some reason, for those of you who are watching, everybody, all three Chinese gymnasts hit their routine, but for some reason, Fan Yi Lin, who went last, her score took forever for them to come up with. I'm not sure what it was that they were um, like contemplating, but for some reason, her score just took for, like years for them to come up with it and it ended up being like 15 plus it was like 15033 or something like that um so i'm not sure what they were contemplating but it took forever it was literally like over 10 minutes we were just sitting waiting um but they did well um and lastly the last note i have for rotation three is that gb was on floor um the first two athletes it was amy tinkler and ellie downey went up and hit it was good for ellie she hit the pass that she had fallen on during qualifications she fell on her head and neck and had to leave the competition for a little bit but then came back um so she did hit her floor routine she didn't throw her first pass i believe is usually a one and a half through two double arabian stag jump she didn't do the stag jump at the end but she hit everything else um unfortunately claudia fragapani went out of bounds twice on her floor and again, it's not, it wasn't you know, like super devastating. Um, she has a high enough start value where it wasn't a crazy, crazy low score. But I think, you know, GB was trying to build some momentum and really get onto the podium. So these kind of little things that kept happening just didn't help them, you know, to do that. So as I said, at the end of the rotation, the United States was in, um, well, I didn't say this part, but the United States was in first place. China was in second place and Japan had snuck into third place. So they really were looking for some medals here. So the fourth rotation was really important for those second and third, um, you know, silver and bronze spots. Um, so China went on to floor with the U.S. They did really well up until the very last routine. Unfortunately, their athlete um, went out of bounds and fell on her butt on her first pass. So that was too bad. They ended up with a 42.066. Um, Cheng Chung Song did a lot better on floor than she did during qualification so that was good she hit her routine um but unfortunately like i said they had the miss um so the u.s was on floor well i'll get to that last i guess so gb was on vault hit 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 all of their vaults 44.766 they don't have anybody throwing an aminar i think if they had an aminar that would really really help their chances a little bit more but they hit nonetheless 44.766 um, and that was really good. Russia also went up on vault um, and hit really, really well. And with China's fall on floor, um, Russia was able to surpass them into second place at that time. Um, Japan had some low scores. They had a fall on um, beam. So that didn't help their case to try to stay in that top three. They had to score close to like 14 sevens, I think it was, on each of their scores for beam. Um, they had a fall, so then they had to score over 15 in order to, to stay in contention. They weren't able to do that, so they were actually knocked out of um, the top three. So the U.S. went on to floor. Um, Lori Hernandez went on first. When she hit her pose, she actually was looking at the judges, and she winked at them, which I thought was funny. I don't know if Simone inspired her, but I thought it was hilarious. She went up. She hit her routine. I almost cried. She hit it so well. She under-rotated her second, third pass. Um, but it didn't matter. She pulled it out and she's such a great performer. Like I was emotional. I almost cried. Um, Allie went up, hit beautifully. Simone went up, hit beautifully. She didn't do her split jump after her bios. It didn't matter. US are rock stars. In the end, they did their, um, so they ended up obviously on top. And in the end, they did a little like huddle and they yelled, the final five. So that's their name. They had been keeping it from us. They didn't want us to know, but it makes a lot of sense. This is the last time we'll send five athletes to the Olympics unless or until they change the rules again. Um, so they are the final five, which, which makes sense. So I thought that was a cute name. Um, I, I enjoyed it. Um, so let's see, was there any, any other notes that I'm forgetting? I don't think so. I think that was pretty much it. So that was um, the women's team finals today. I'll try to come back tomorrow and do men's all around. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to catch the whole thing, but I'm going to try. Um, comment down below. Let me know your thoughts about team finals for the women. 
Um, subscribe to my channel if you like what I'm doing here. Check out some of my other videos. And until next time, happy gymnastics -ing.